Soli. What's up? Link is uh Link is making biscuits on me. He wants to go to sleep and take a nap. <laughs> New setup again. Uh, -uh there's no new setup. I'm using a wider lens on the camera so you just see more, but it's same setup. It's just been like a month since we've streamed. <laughs> Come on, dude, I've got a stream. You can't be taking a nap right now. I don't think he's going to leave anytime soon. <laughs> so Lee said in Discord, it's probably chicken leg day. <laughs> you want to see Link getting his scritches? What is that? What is scritches? You mean scratches? Only way of saying pets, I figured. <laughs> he is needy. It's thundering outside, so he's um he's usually pretty pretty needy when it's thundering outside. He doesn't like none of that. Dude cannot keep his eyes open. <laughs> Perfect weather for sleeping, I agree. I wish I could take me a nap. This dude is knocked out. <laughs> Are you going to code for me today, dude? I'm sad that I gotta move you, but I'm gonna have to move you here. Uh, he's like, he's sleeping in my hand. Like, knocked out. Come on. Go somewhere else. Come up here. Come on, bubs. Come on. You gotta go. I might be able to code with you on my lap. Who knows? Let's see. We'll try it. He moves a lot when he sleeps, so he probably won't stay very long if I'm not leaning back. Usually around like 12, he'll come and like lay right here on my chest, and that's when I'll take like my lunch. I'll put a movie on or something and just lean back and just let him sleep for a while. I guess he's going to sleep right there. I wonder if I could zoom in a bit. I can, but you can't see him. I might... There we go. You can kind of see him just chilling right here. <laughs> well, wait. Can you see that on stream? Yeah. <laughs> Poor dude. He doesn't like the thunder. How have you been, Soli? Yeah, he doesn't like the thunder. He's ultra cuddly whenever it's thundering outside. I feel like I haven't we haven't talked in like a month. I know you guys had that hurricane come come through and then I was on vacation for a while.
I heard a lot of good things about Stardew Valley. It's for the Switch, right? Knock on wood, I'm very surprised we didn't get any hurricanes come my way this year. I'm very thankful for that, though. <laughs> we usually always get wrecked by a hurricane. We're still rebuilding from the last one two years ago. Yeah, I got COVID when I got back from my vacation. And it, it knocked me out for like two weeks. So the last week of my vacation, I was sick. And then my first week back, I didn't take any time off. Because I work from home, it's just easy to just stay busy. Um, but I uh, I had it for like two weeks. It was horrible. Oh, I didn't know it was for PC too. I never had COVID before, so that was the first time. And I guess it just, it ran through me. This is my first week back in the gym. So it's been like almost a month since I've worked out because of vacation and then COVID. And I have never been this sore. <laughs> it's It's been rough. This is the sorest I've been. Couldn't even like move yesterday and the day before. And I'm starting to feel better today. I'm not not too sore. Yeah, good. You don't want it. <laughs> I thought I would never catch it because it's been like, what, four years since it started and I never caught it. But I finally, finally caught it and it was horrible. It was as bad as everyone says. What's up, dude? Where are you going? Hmm? I'm not comfy enough for you. Am I not comfy enough? Yeah, it's funny. Somebody somebody asked me, it was like, so you have COVID-19? And I'm just like, ah, do we even call it COVID-19 now? Because it's 2024. It's called COVID-24, maybe? I don't know. What's up, Brandon? Oh, he's making biscuits again. Look at him. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Look at him making biscuits. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Brandon, get out of here. <laughs> he really is. He is purring so loud. I'm surprised my mic doesn't pick it up. Solely bully. <laughs> I've called Solely a bully many times. Now you just a chicken like Dennis. Speaking of Dennis, where is Dennis? Is he still eating? Are you all better? Did you lose your taste at all? I did lose my taste. And that's why I, I realized, hey, whoa, this might not be the flu. This might be COVID. Um, turns out it was COVID. But my taste my taste came back. I ended up getting strep throat actually after COVID or I guess during COVID. I don't, I don't know. So I didn't eat much um, anyways, which was, I guess, kind of good. I just, I lived off smoothies for like a few days. <laughs> but yeah, I'm all better, thankfully. It's all gone. I still got a little bit of stuff in my chest, but for the most part, I'm good. I'm back to back to normal. I feel like those two weeks of my life just didn't exist. <laughs> it was so rough. The fever was the worst part. The fever was terrible. And I lost like so much weight too. I already put it back on though. Just getting back on my diet and whatnot, but I didn't eat for so many Probably like four or five days, I barely ate anything, so. How bad was the taste loss? Did you like Sully's green color choices? What green color choices? How bad was the taste loss? So, I I typically start my morning every morning with a ghost. It's, it's my preferred method of caffeine. 
And I remember opening up a ghost and I was like, this tastes like carbonated water. It's like, that's weird. And I knew I wasn't feeling that great. Um, and then I, I tried to eat something for breakfast. I forget what it was. And I was like, this just like it had flavor, but it wasn't like, it was like maybe 10%. Like I could tell what it was, but it was barely anything at all. It was, it was horrible. That's when I realized, yeah, I, my, my taste is gone. But the, I, I was surprised because typically people say the taste, the loss of taste lasts for a while, even after COVID, but my loss of taste only lasted for maybe three or four days. Like I was still very sick uh, when I got my taste back. But like I said, I don't know if I had COVID for two weeks or I had COVID for like a week and then strut for a week. But regardless, I was sick for two weeks. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty rough. I heard horror stories about how bad it was, and I just, I was hoping I'd never get it. You know you love my green. <laughs> I don't even remember the color green. I, I just, I, I feel like I remember I didn't like it, though. Uh-oh, he's up. He's awake. He wants to come sit on my desk now. Maybe we can get started now. <laughs> so... I think what we're going to do today is we're just going to build an app and we're only going to build it with chat GPT prompts. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to code a single thing. I'm not going to fix any code. If there's a bug, I'm going to get chat GPT to refix it. So what do you guys want to build? Like what, what do you guys want to see me prompt chat GPT to build? <laughs> the future is now. I've been trying to think all morning what we should build and I don't, I don't really know. Figured I'd let you guys choose. Or we can maybe even just ping chat GPT. Workout planner. You know, I've actually tried to build the, one of those a few times and I just, I never have enough time because it's such a big project. We could see if chat GPT can do it. That would be kind of cool. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, let's see if let's see what ChatGPT can give us for it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, so I don't know if anyone knows, but there is now um, ChatGPT for Mac, Mac OS app. Um, it's super cool, and you can set up a shortcut to just prompt it, uh, just start prompting. So. What should the initial prompt be? Let's say I am trying to build a project today. Do you guys want to use vanilla JavaScript or React? I think we're going to use Tailwind regardless, so I'm not sitting here all day styling things up. Or actually, we're going to have ChatGPT style it up, so I guess we can use CSS. You guys let me know though, do you want vanilla JavaScript or React? You like your code like you like ice cream, vanilla. <laughs> and I kind of want to see React. All right. Let's... Angular. <laughs> I'm not doing Angular. Rock, paper, scissors, Brandon. All right, hold on. Let's let ChatGPT decide. I'm building an app today and I don't know what framework to use. Should I use Angular, React, or vanilla JavaScript? I want you to randomly choose one and tell me. All right, let's see. It says, let's go with React. It's a popular choice for building modern web applications due to its component-based architecture and strong community support. All right, so we're gonna do this one in React then. Let me see something. Did you randomly choose that or are you biased? <laughs> I used a random selection method to choose React. If you'd like, I can do another random select. Okay, all right, so it randomly chose it. Why is Rohal coming in here with all this angular controversy? 
Soli is ChatGPT confirmed. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to build it in React. Okay. So I want to build a workout planner app. I know React and Tailwind, but I want you to build it for me. Where should we start? Wow, that's going. I'm going to create the uh, project. Let's go React Template Workout Planner. Let's create this React app. I don't like the sound of that. It makes me sound like a grandma. <laughs> Sully does have seniority. <laughs> My grandma is awesome. All right. So it says, great choice on the Workout Planner app. Here's a step-by-step -step plan to get started. Project setup, install node. Okay, we, we already got the thing set up. And I already have Tailwind set up in this. All right, so it says create the following directories and files to structure your app. So that's where we're gonna start. So let's let's do that. Let me make sure I got all of this in view for y'all so y'all can see everything. There we go, like that. You need to set up your prompt, correct? You used your setup prompt, correct? Yes, so I use the uh, Watch. If I uh, just open up this terminal, yeah, let's update. Um, clear it. So if I go to, if I just type in config, I think is how I have it set up. All right, now, so I need to go to there and then run config. Yeah, so I ran this command here, React template, and then I just called it uh, Workout Planner. And it, uh, it created everything from this repo right here, which is just a basic React app set up with Tailwind. Be right back, dudes, quick call. All right, Soli. All right, let's close this up. So after setting up the React project and setting up Tailwind, which is already done for us, uh, it wants us to work on this project structure. So let's do that. Let's create a components folder Looks like there's also a pages folder. Uh, so it pulls it from that, from Git, that's awesome. Yep, so I just have to, if I ever wanna update the way that my template works, I just have to update that repo. Um, but what's really cool is it clones it down, then it takes the Git, um, the .git file that's in there, which is tracking it with Git, because we pulled it from GitHub, it removes it so that I don't accidentally push up to it, and then it creates a new Git repo. Um, and now I can take that and push changes to it. It's not going to update the original um, repository that holds my starter files, basically. It's really cool. I might even make a video on how it's set up. Uh, Brian helped me set that up, and it's it's so awesome. Shout out, Brian. All right. So we got components, and we got pages. And it looks like there's already some files set up in here. So let's uh, – oops. Let's start setting that up. So inside of components, we have exercise card.js. I'm gonna do JSX. Did I even spell that right? Exer, no, I did not. <laughs> Hold on, let's re rename it. Cool. All right, and then there's also workout form.jsx. And then workout list.jsx and then a navbar component. I wonder if we can all figure out what this is gonna look like just by some of the components that they're giving us. I'm interested to see what ChatGBT is gonna build for us. Link is coming back. What's up, dude? You're tired, huh? You just wanna sleep? Aw. You just want to sleep, huh? It's a tired kitty right here. Big boy. That would be a cool treehouse short course. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually going to be making a lot of quick videos coming up here pretty soon on a lot of random topics that a lot of people seem to be searching up on the website. Um, maybe I'll make that part of it. 
my boy. All right, you're gonna have to find a way to get comfy where I can still work. <laughs> All right, maybe he'll stay like that. All right, sorry. So we're finished with the components folder and now we just need pages. And it looks like we have a home page at JSX. And we also have a workout page.jsx. Oops, I made that one a .js file. Let's make it JSX. Okay, I'm gonna go in here and set up all these. Um, well, maybe maybe we don't. Maybe we just see what it wants us to do. Dang, how much instruction did it give us right out of the box? Did it give us the whole app? <laughs> this is cool. Let's see what we uh, let's see what it wants us to do here. All right, this scares me. What do you mean? How's it scare you? Don't be don't be scared of AI. I pinged like the mid journey uh, thing to make me an image of salmon in the river, and it it made um, it gave me an image of a river with cooked salmon, not fish, just cooked salmon jumping through the water. I don't think ChatGPT is taking our jobs anytime soon. <laughs> As someone looking to, so look, I'll tell you this. AI is not gonna replace developers. Now, I don't think a company is gonna need as many developers as it needed before AI, but AI is a tool. It's not gonna completely replace us, not anytime soon. But like I said, if, it's important to understand how it works and see if you can utilize it in your workflows, but I don't think it's gonna take our jobs. It's not that smart. You still need someone who understands code to use it and things like that. It's not AI fault, it's human broad description. Yeah, I get that, I get that. All right, so first step is, it wants us to go inside of our nav bar. So let's do that, let's close out all these files. Um, and let's go inside of our nav bar. And this is the code that it gives us. So uh, we don't need this. So if I hit save, it looks like a nav with a blue background and some padding. And then an H1 that says workout planner. Let's uh, let's also open this up in the browser. Oh, I think it's already opened up for us. All right. So we don't see anything because we're not actually calling it in the app. Um, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not coding any of this. So we're gonna have to see how this all works. Unless inside of app, I have to import these manually, but I guess we'll see. And yeah, the AI is putting in Tailwind. I, I put in my initial prompt up here. Um, Okay, so I want to build a workout planner app and I know React and Tailwind, but I want you to build it out for me. Where should we start? So it knew that I wanted to use uh, Tailwind. Okay, so we got the nav bar done. Now let's copy this, a card to display each exercise. So this is gonna go into exercise card.js or JSX. So let's paste that on in there. Can remove that, we don't need that. So it is taking in a prop. So I'm assuming we're gonna have to be passing something into this at some point, right? And this is a workout form right here. So let's copy this. Inside a workout form, we'll just paste it. You can remove this React import, don't need that. This is also taking in some props. This is a lot of code here, so we'll see. We're I'm gonna paste all this in and we're gonna take a look at everything. We'll dissect it all after that. And then this is a workout list component. So let's go to the workout list, paste that in. So we're gonna remove these React imports they keep doing. No labels on the form. Oh, you're right, there is no labels. <laughs> I'm actually very curious to see what this is gonna look like. All right, so create pages. Step five says create pages. The main page to display workouts and the form. All right, let's copy this. I guess this is gonna go into homepage.jsx. So let's remove our import. 
All right, so now we're starting to import um, some components here. So it says this differs. Um, file name, workout planner, source, components, workout list. Did I spell it correctly? Differs from already included file name. Oh, you know what? When I originally created this, I misspelled workout and I fixed it. I wonder if that's why it's screaming at me. I don't think it matters though. We'll see. Um, so this was the main page, right? This was the home page. And, oh, okay. So now it looks like we're, we're importing everything in, into the app. So let's copy this and go to our app. And I'm going to remove, well, I'm just going to remove everything and just paste this in like that. So now we should start seeing stuff. Okay, so it broke it. <laughs> awesome. So we're going to have some errors, it looks like. Yeah, because now it's telling me to run the uh, run the dev server. Okay, so let's see what errors we're getting. All right, let me pop my dev tools back into my, uh, my browser. Okay, let's refresh. All right, so use state is not defined inside of home page. So let's see. Yep, we are using use state right here and we are not importing it. Let's, um, so this is the home page, right? Okay, that's my bad. It did import it and I took it out. I thought it was just a React uh, import. Yeah, Rohald. I wonder if just that'll fix everything. Nope, use state is not defined in workout form. Dang, did I just assume that that was all React? Let's go to the workout form. Yeah, my bad. I thought these were just React imports. All right, all right, cool. So look at this. <laughs> I wonder if this is actually gonna work. Let's leave the dev tools up and see. So exercise name, let's say uh, barbell back squat. I wanna do four sets and reps. It has, can I do this? Let's do like, uh, let's do eight reps, right? Add workout, barbell back squat. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Human sabotage, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did I did say I wasn't gonna touch any of the code and I was just removing React imports, which wouldn't even break it. But um, yeah, I, I messed it up. So right out of the box, I mean, this is what ChatGPT was able to build. So let me do, uh, we do skull crushers. Uh, we want to do like three sets of like 12 reps. Add workout. Cool. So we're, we're actually making like a little workout planner. All right. Do y'all want to add like any, uh, it seems like this just works. I'm not getting any console errors either. Do y'all want to go over the code that we did not write? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do that. Cause all I did was paste. Let's, let's actually see what it did. So inside the app, which is the entry point, we just have a nav bar and our homepage. It's chicken leg. <laughs> What's up, Dennis? I feel bad for whoever named Skull Crushers. Yeah, I love Skull Crushers though. I do them a couple times a week. All right, so let's start in the nav bar. The nav bar is very simple. It's just a nav with an H1 and a blue background color, All right? So if we go back to app, our only other component we're rendering is homepage. So the homepage imports use state and then two components, the workout form, which is obviously this form, and then our workout list, which is our list that we're, we're creating. Does it have any Travis appropriate workouts like pre-workout stretching workouts? <laughs> Drive home after stretching workouts. Empty the fridge after getting home workouts. <laughs> I'm sure we could put them. Let's do uh, empty the fridge after getting home if tacos exist. How many sets of this do you want to do? Two? Two at 10 reps? <laughs> All right, so 
the uh, the homepage, like I said, it has our two components, our workout form, which is this up here, and then our workout list. Um, and it looks like we're putting workouts into state, which is an empty array, which I'm assuming when we update the form, it, um, it does set workouts. So there's a function here, it says add workout. We're adding the workout, set workout, workout. So this is probably what we're calling when we submit the form. So workout form, yeah, add workout, we're passing in that function. So the workout form, let's check that out. So we're taking in um, that function as a prop so we can use it. We're using some state here for the name, the sets and the reps. Okay, and then each part of this form, each input is a uh, is updating that state. So the name one updates the name with set name, then sets with set sets, and then reps with set reps. Pretty simple. And then add workout, we're adding the name, sets, and reps. And then we're emptying out, that's cool that it empties out the form for us. That's kind of cool that it, it knew to do that. If tacos exist, clear the fridge. <laughs> yeah, for real, right? Why did it have you create a workout page? For real, huh? We're not using workout page, are we? Let's uh, let's ask ChatGPT that. Great, this works. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Oh, I can't. Doesn't let me make this bigger. Lame. Hopefully, you guys can still see it. Great, this works perfectly. But you had me create a work out page.jsx, but we didn't use it. Is there anything in this? Yeah, no, there's nothing even in this. You're right. We included workout page.js in the structure, but we didn't use it. Let's update our structure to include the workout page. Stop scrolling. <laughs> This page could be used to display details for individual workouts if you plan to extend the functionality. So it wants me to update the structure. So workout page would be in pages, which it still is. So we're not updating any structure. Maybe it's just making sure I still have it. Um, workout page. So it's giving me this code here. So let's go ahead and paste it in. We're not deleting anything this time. Let's see, install React Router. You'll need React Router to handle navigation between the homepage and the workout page. All right, so let's do that. Let's open up the terminal. Um, CD desktop slash workout planner. Let's get back into this repo. Well, let's paste this in. All right, so we installed React Router. All right, now it wants me to modify app.js to include the routes. All right, so it's still throwing us our nav bar and all this. So I think this, I can just actually completely replace app.jsx with this uh, update. So let's do that. All right, so I'll hit save. All right, what else? Update components to link to workout page. Update exercise card.js to link to the workout page. Okay. So this would be exercise card. Let's replace all this. All right. And then update workout list to pass the index to exercise card, which looks like this is um, a prop. So let's do that. Let's copy this workout list and replace all this code. With these updates, you should be able to navigate to individual workout pages from the home page. The structure provides a good foundation for further expanding the app's functionality. Let me know if you need any more assistance. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, eat tacos is our first workout, and I wanna do 20 sets of one rep. <laughs> all right, so it looks like I can click on this workout now. So it, nothing really has changed so far. And we're still in our like root direct, um, we're still like in our main like page, but I can click on this. Okay, so now it says workout not found. 
Let me refresh. Yep, still says workout not found. So let's let's see if we can figure out what's going on. When I click on a newly made workout, I get redirected to a new page, but it says, what does it say? Workout not found. Workout not found. Is that a page to describe the exercise? Probably. I think it might just like take me to an individual workout, if I had to guess. All right, so it's giving us some more code. It looks like the issue might be with how the ID is being passed. And well, let's actually, let's see if we're getting any console errors. Let's try this again. Um, let's do uh, sumo deadlift, four sets, five reps. Click on that. All right, so we're not getting any errors, okay. So it says check the route parameter. First, ensure the route parameter is being correctly passed and used in workout page. So workout page. Um, make sure the code is correctly accessing the ID parameter from the URL. All right, well, I'm not writing any code, so we're gonna we're gonna just paste. So this definitely updated something. All right. Two, pass workout as props. Make sure the workout page component receives the workouts props correctly. So workout page, workouts equal workouts. I think we're already doing that. Yeah, workouts equals workouts. Um, let's, let's just repaste all this and just see, see, it did change something or I think it was just my formatting. Um, and then verify the link, ensure that the link component in exercise card is correctly forming the URL with the right ID exercise card. Check that the link correctly navigates to the detailed workout page. All right. So this is what exercise card. Let's go to that and replace. Yeah, that's all working so far. Oh yeah, so Lee, we uh, we already got this thing working. <laughs> it's crazy. It works without any issues. Where are you going, Link? All right. So now, ensure consistent data structure. Make sure that the workouts array in your state is correctly structured and not empty when navigating. So in homepage.js, double check that the workouts array is being updated correctly. So let's go to homepage.js, or repaste this. That definitely changed some things. And then debugging. You can add some console logs to check the correct workout data is being passed and accessed. So let's, let's do that. So let's go to the workout page. We'll paste this in. It's save, which it looks like we're just console logging the workouts, the workout ID and selected workouts. And uh, yeah, it says that's it. With these steps, you should be able to identify why the workout is not being found and ensure that navigation to the workout details page works correctly. Let me know if you need any further assistance. Okay. so. Let's go back to our home page and let's uh, let's do Travis's favorite workout. Let's uh, eat a taco. We want uh, 10 sets of one rep. Add workout. So we have our workout here. All right, cool. So now if we click it, we're brought to um, our app slash workout slash zero because it's, I guess, our first workout in here, right? And it's, it's just our workout here. Cool. All right. So if we go back, we can, uh, let's do like, um, bicep curls. We're going to do like five, four sets of like 10 reps, right? Okay. So this should be workouts and it has the idea of one. Cool. So this works. Look at that. This would have took me a lot longer probably especially with all the routing. That's cool.
I honestly didn't think ChatGPT could build something like this so quickly. I mean, it's very basic, but it's pretty cool. You know, people shouldn't be so threatened by AI. I don't know half the stuff ChatGPT is giving out, is giving as output, and it's kind of overwhelming for me here, just looking at it. Like, I think some experience with coding is definitely going to be necessary. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, ChatGPT's gotten a lot better, but there's a lot of times where, like, it's not going to do what you want. And maybe this is the functionality we want, but this is not at all the look that we want. So, you know, if it can at least handle this part of the work for us, and then we just have to worry about designing, you know, that's, that's still saving time. I don't think stuff like this is going to replace developers, like I said. I just think it's going to be a tool that we use to kind of speed up our own workflows and help us out. You mean like when I refresh and all the uh, the workouts disappear, Rohold? You think it'll try to set it up into uh, local storage? Only thing I use Copilot for lately is to auto-complete the line I'm typing. Yeah. I haven't used Copilot in quite a while. I just, I don't know, like, it works great when I, when I'm, when I have a bug and I can't fix it. But other than that, I think when it tries to auto-complete things for me that I already know how to do, I, I mean, it just gets annoying. Um, okay, so yeah, let's, let's do what Rohald said. Awesome. This fixes... This fixes the issue and my workout planner works perfectly. But now I want to, how should we say it? Black box. I think I've heard of black box. I think you told me about it solely, actually. But now I want to save my workouts instead of them disappearing when I refresh the page. Let's see if it's gonna offer us some code for local storage. All right. Great to hear that your workout planner is working perfectly. To save your workouts, prevent them from disappearing. When you refresh the page, you can use local storage to persist the data. Cool. Let's see if it just does everything for us. Yep, I mentioned it a lot of streams ago. Yeah, that, it, you were the one that, that told me about it. Alright, so it's updating our app.jsx. Let's paste it, and let's look at what it's doing first. So, let's take a look. So, save workouts to local storage is a function, and it's taking in the workout as a parameter. We're saying local storage that set item, and we're calling this item in local storage workouts, and its value is gonna basically be um, a JSON formatted of our workout. Seems pretty simple. So we're also using use effect here, and I guess that's to grab the workouts initially, and then whenever workouts updates, save workouts to local storage workouts. Okay, we also have a function load from local storage. Where's that? Oh, that was right above this. I didn't even see it. So const workouts equals local storage dot get item workouts. Return workouts. What does this line actually mean right here? Let's uh, let's co-pilot it. Let's say explain this. We're explaining line ten. So this is what Copilot is. Um, this is one of the features of it. You can highlight, so especially if you're using ChatGPT or AI to help write your code and you want to understand what something does, you can highlight it, right click, go to Copilot, and click explain this, fix this. You can generate docs, you can generate tests. Um, and yeah, that's, that's one of the features. You could also use Copilot chat, which is what I'm also using here. Um, I'll show you how that works too, but basically, I asked it for line 10 where it says return workouts. It looks like a ternary. Um, so if workouts is true, then um, 
Okay, so I kind of already understand what this is. If workouts is true, then json.parse workouts. So I'm guessing if workouts, where is that in state? I know we just saw this in state somewhere, right? Yeah, workouts right here. So use state load workouts. So yeah, I'm guessing if load workouts. Ah, okay. So it's getting the item workouts from local storage. So workouts might not actually have anything in it because we might not have anything in local storage. So that's why it's saying if workouts, I guess, exists, then we're going to parse the workouts. Else, we're returning an empty array. And this is what's coming from our load from local storage function, which we, where else did I see this? Which is how we're setting our state for our initial workouts and set workouts. Show Brandon how to add it to VS Code 2, Dustin. Okay, I will. After we get this done, um, we'll, we'll go over some Copilot stuff. Because Copilot's pretty awesome. If you haven't heard about it, it's it's pretty sick. I'll show you everything I know about it. All right, so without having to read the Copilot explanation, I kind of figured this out. I'll go over it again. So this function here, const load workouts from local storage, it's just a function. And we're basically saying const workouts equals local storage dot get item. And we're getting our workouts item. Now, if we don't have any workouts when the page initially loads, like I guess you could say the first time we ever use the app, this isn't gonna equal anything. So its value, I guess, would be false, right? Um, and this function is returning workouts. If it, So this right here is a ternary. And the value of this ternary is gonna be what we're returning. So if workouts is true, meaning there was something in local storage uh, from running this this uh, line here, then workouts will have a value. So if workouts has a value, then we're gonna parse that value. And that's what we're returning from this function. If there were nothing in workouts, meaning this equated to nothing, then we're just gonna return an empty array. And what's important is load workouts from local storage is just returning whatever the value of this is. So it's either returning our workouts or it's returning an empty array if none exists. And this is important because in our set state, I mean, I'm sorry, in our state right here for workouts, we're setting workouts to what's in local storage. So it's either going to equal our workouts that are in local storage, or it's going to equal an empty array so that we can get started. And then the set workouts will just update it as, as we go. And somewhere we're going to save, which I, I guess is right here, save workouts to local storage and we're saving our state which is our workouts. And we're gonna run this function to save into local storage every time workouts updates, which is gonna be every time we call the set workouts setter function. Cool, and then we have our function that does exactly that. It looks like it's called add workout, and we're taking the workout as a parameter and we're saying set workouts. We're spreading the original items in the array if there's anything in there, and then we're adding the new item. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, let's see what else ChatGPT wanted though. So we updated app and I think, okay, that looks like it's it. So that actually might already be everything we need. So let's go and, so look, we refreshed and we don't have any workouts here. Exactly, the initial data for workouts state. So it has something to do, thank you, I love a good mem good ternary. Yeah, this was a good ternary. Ternaries took me so long to understand, <laughs> but I'm so happy I understood them because you cannot write if statements um, just anywhere you want in React. Sometimes you're forced to write a ternary. Yeah, local storage took me a while to understand too, and then I, I kind of simplified it out. I was like, okay, so we have a couple of functions here. We have set item and get item, and it's really, really easy to just start off with that and then understand that you have to you have to put um, a string. Um, you have to take your data and your local storage has to be a string, and you just have to JSONify it. Or that's what I call it, JSONify it, but JSON.stringify your stuff when you want to actually use it later. But local storage, it's complex, but it's it's easy at the same time, once you understand it. All right, so this is our initial state of the app. There's nothing here. So if we go and we add an item, we'll call this barbell, let's do front squats since we did back squats earlier. We'll do four sets of four reps. 
add the workout. All right. So if I click this, we go to that, we have workout zero and it's called barbell back squats. So if I go back home and I refresh, cool. We still have our barbell back squats here and I can go here. So if I refresh this page though, cool, it still works. And it looks like we're, um, we're logging this to the console, which is awesome. Which I think we're doing in our uh, workout page, right? Yeah, we're, we're logging all this info. So cool. So now if I go back to our homepage and I type in something like, um, let's do walking body weight lunges. I'm going to do like um, three sets of uh, failure for the reps, right? Can we, can we do a uh, string? Ah, no, it says please enter a number. Uh, let's just do 10. All right, so now we have two workouts here. And if I refresh, it just works. And if I go slash workouts and go to slash one, oh, look at that. Nothing happens here. Let's see why that is. Oh, because it's, it's workout, not workouts. All right, so if we go slash workout slash one, Cool. We get our we get our uh, our walking body weight lunges. This is pretty cool. Definitely doesn't look like what I would like it to look like. Yeah, I want to see if we can get ChatGPT to restyle this a little bit better. Local storage took me. Oh, I read that already. It was a it was hard to remember to set it every place the data for it changed. Yeah, in React it, it's a little easier because your data will always change in pretty much like one place. Sometimes if you're using like vanilla JavaScript, it's, it's a little bit more tedious to work with, but I, every time I've ever had to work with uh, local storage, I like to set everything up kind of like how they did it here, how they set everything up in a function, right? So instead of having to call all of this every single time, this function just handles it and you just have to call the function every time. It makes it a lot easier to deal with. All right, Soli, give me a color palette. Give me some hex values. Give me a color palette, and I'm going to tell ChatGPT to restyle it with those colors. I'm trusting you, though. Don't don't let me down on the colors this time. <laughs> don't let me down. Give me at least, like, three hex values. Three colors. And we're going to restyle this up a little bit better. While you do that, I'm gonna say, great, this works. Can you modernize the look and feel of this app? I'm gonna see what it does out of the box and then I'm gonna get some color palettes from you. I'm gonna get your color palette and empty it. Tomato, tomato, dark tomato. <laughs> you know what, if Gil is ever Gil is actually, you know what? Everyone give me one hex value color. This will be fun. If everyone gives me one color, no one's going to know what colors we're matching together. And we're going to build probably the ugliest workout planner on the planet. All right. So Travis, if you want to go with tomato, that'll be your answer. And then I'll use the hex Rohal gave me, the hex Brandon gave me, the, the hex Soli gave me. And we're going to see what we're going to be building out here. <laughs> Also, anyone else watching, drop a hex value in, um, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll set this up. <laughs> we'll set this up. Cassie with the FF00FF. I feel like that's got to be a light color. Starting off with the F. All right, cool. We got four colors now. No, I'm sorry, five. What is this? Oh, it's still writing. I was like, what is that? Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I'm very scared. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say I didn't apply any of the, actually, you know what, no. Let's, uh, let's apply everything that they just gave us and then we're gonna update everything. No, let's, let's actually start it over. I did not apply anything you just gave me. Instead, can you re, re give? Is that a word? <laughs> re give me a modern look and feel CSS update 
as well as using all of the colors listed below. All right, let's do it. Tomato. We're gonna use Rohald's color. And you know what's funny? I'm not gonna know who gave me what color unless I go and inspect everything. All right, let's get Brandon's color. All right, let's get Soli's color, which is probably a horrible green. <laughs> Cassie's color. Anyone else? Before we submit this, anyone else? Going once, going twice. All right, we're going to submit this. I did not apply anything you just gave me. Instead, can you re-give me a modern look and feel CSS update as well as using all the colors listed below? All right, it looks like the nav is gonna get that tomato <laughs> color. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, I'm trying to see if I see any of those new colors. Okay, here we go. H2 is getting one of the colors. Some text is getting the colors Cassie gave us. BG tomato a thing doesn't sound very tailwindy. I don't think so. Do you guys want to see how you can set that up though? Watch. Let's see if I can not mess this up. I think if you go into theme, you could say tomato and just give it a color of tomato. Or you could do like, um, like different variations of it, which I'm not gonna do, but I think we can do that. So now I can do BG Tomato. You just kinda give it its own little thing in the config file. It's not using the array for those values though. I don't know if the colors will be applied as expected. You're right. Are you referring to that nav? Where's the nav? Yeah, BG Tomato. I don't know. It might. It might be. It might be a Tailwind thing. We'll see. We might actually have to go in and update it because yeah, look, it does need the array for this to be since this is custom, right? Yep. It would. It would probably need to do that unless it's okay. Look, look. I thought about this, so yeah, it looks like it's gonna add this to the config file on its own, so that these will work. Well, I don't know because it's still using this value, not the name it gave it. It might actually not work. Oh wait, no, it's actually doing it in the layer, base layer. <laughs> you just use a regular old Tailwind one? Oh yeah, the, the, the Tailwind config is so easy compared to some other configs out there. All right, so let's start implementing this. So. We're going to copy over some stuff. All right, where's our nav? All right, I'm going to paste that. Why do it in both the config and the... And I don't know. It's chat GPT. <laughs> I thought the same thing. It kind of seems like you could like not do this at all and just kind of go this route with it and maybe even just name it, right? It seems like it's a little... It, it's doing two different things for the same thing. All right, so next one is exercise card. I'm gonna paste this, save it. Actually, let's make this bigger. I don't want any previews until we're done. <laughs> but I did already save the nav bar and I don't see a tomato color. I'm uh, I'm seeing white up here, so I think Rohald's right. I think it's gonna break, but we'll see, we'll see. No spoilers, we're not gonna, we're not gonna see. All right, so we did exercise card. Now let's do the workout form. Hopefully it doesn't um, remove any of the code that we've already written. I think it actually did. No, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, this was workout form, great. Now let's do workout list. Hopefully it doesn't break anything, like I said. That would be annoying. All right, um, I don't see any changes for this one. Do y'all? 
Oh, it just added some updated CSS. It didn't, it didn't add anything else. Sorry. All right, so now home page. Paste that. Let's see, workout page is next. I did also say to give me a more modern look and feel. So it's not just our colors that are gonna be changing. All right, so this is gonna be in the CSS file. So we're keeping the, uh, the imports. We're adding in some more stuff here. BG tomato is tomato. Looks like it's given us some class names for this. I don't know. I don't. I'm with Rohald. I don't think this is gonna work. We might have to update some stuff. All right, and then in our config, uh, we're gonna change the module.exports, or we're gonna add that in. Where where is it? Content theme. There we go. All right. Oh, I I see a red nav over on the side here. So it looks like this might this might have worked. Okay. So this is what this is what it gave us. Uh, let's see if there's any errors or issues. All right. Does everyone see their colors? Because I I really don't know if things are gonna work out of the box or not. Okay, so solely you don't see your color. Let me go up and see what yours was. All right, so solely said EF5A6F. It was green. Oh wait, no, EF5A6F. You gave me a pink. You gave me a pinkish color. And I don't see that anywhere. Let's see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what Rohald said, basically. So I'm gonna say, I, so I'm not seeing most of the colors I gave you. In the tailwind, I see, for example, BG, uh, let's do EF5A6F, but that isn't correct syntax for a custom tailwind property. All right, let's see if it just updates anything. So you're right. I know I'm right. Rohald's right. The syntax for custom colors and tailwind should be defined properly in the configuration file and then used for the appropriate class names. Let's correct this by defining the colors in a tailwind configuration file and using them in the components. Um, all right, so it looks like it's going to give us a name for each one and then use these values that you guys gave me. So let's just copy this. Let's copy the colors object. We're just gonna paste that into the Tailwind config. So let's replace the colors object. Hit save. Um, we're gonna copy this CSS, and paste it in just in case something changed. Whoa, I don't wanna delete the CSS. All right. Hold on. What's going on in the chat here? Twitch, my dev. What's up? Just see tomato. It looks like Travis's color is the only one that actually worked right out of the box. Go figure, because he just gave us a name and not a hex value. So you're the one that, that offered that, that green that I saw in there, Brandon. <laughs> this is the time to refill my coffee. It's only 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny all right where were we uh okay so nav bar it looks like we're gonna have to be updating everything again so hopefully this fixed it i'll tell you one thing at least working with uh chat gbt you're gonna get something you don't expect so if you're not sure what you want your app to look like just chat gbt at all All right, we updated the exercise card with way less code than it originally had, so we'll see how that works. Hopefully it didn't break anything. All right, let's go to workout form. I paste that in, save it. All right, 
Work out list. Work out list, way over here. Paste, don't look like anything changed in that one. Uh, and then we have our homepage. Paste, save. And we have workout page. There we go. Save. Okay, and that's it. So, <laughs> all right. I think I see all the colors now. So I'm seeing this ugly green. I'm seeing the teal. Oh no, look at the teal hover. Dang, Brandon. All right, I see Soli's uh, magenta or pinkish. I'm seeing Travis's red. And I'm assuming what Cassie gave us was a, a light white color, right? Was it like a white color, Cassie? Let's see. Oh no, wait, it was magenta. So, wait. Let's see here. Where is Solis color then? Solis is pink. The reps. Okay, so that would be yours. So are we missing Solis color? Solis color was... Um, I'm going to assume this pink, right? I'm the header green. Yeah, I know. I know you're the green. You ruined everything. <laughs> Sets. That could be it. I thought this was the tomato color. Is it not the tomato color? Huh. Let's uh, let's go to the nav and see what it's using. So the nav bar is using VG tomato. And now let's go to the exercise card. Yep, text pink. Okay, cool. It just kind of looked like the, uh, well, no, it does look different. Wow, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys rather the way this looks versus the way uh, ChatGBT did it with the simple blue and white? I'm not going to lie. I didn't think Cassie's was pink. I always thought FF starts off like a super light color, but I guess I was wrong. I don't know much about hex values, so. I shouldn't be surprised. Looks like the spaghetti code it provided. <laughs> Throw the whole setup away. I'm just like blown away at this uh, this hover on this button. <laughs> With the tomato sauce. Oh, you guys are funny. Let's just make sure everything still works. Uh, let's do tricep extensions. We're gonna do 100 uh, sets of 1200 reps. All right, so it still adds it. Everything still works. Local storage is still saving. Cool. Oh wait, look, if we hover over, we get uh, Rohald's teal. It's kind of cool. I just, this, this ad workout hover is horrible. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Brandon did the poop green. You know, this probably wouldn't have looked too bad if it wasn't for the green. <laughs> hey, this is great though. This was, a, this was fun. <laughs> hey, it's also responsive, look at that. Hey, not bad, ChatGPT, not bad. Honestly, a lot better than I thought. I did not, I did not think it would be this, this good. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> that hover is going places <laughs> it's going places it might not be going to uh, the CSS awards but it's going places <laughs> oh man you know what we ought to do this every week we ought to have chat GPT build something and you guys give me random colors and we at the end of like a month we, we choose the best app out of each week Kevin Powell will probably block us now if we're being honest, if he, if he tunes in now and thinks that we just came up with this color scheme without the randomness, then yeah, he'd probably block us. Kevin Powell would not be excited about this. <laughs> I 
Yo, I'm totally down to make this a series. This was a lot of fun. And we could use different things each time. So, like, I mean, I don't want to do an Angular app, but maybe we could do an Angular app just to see how it is. It's been a long time since I wrote Angular. Who's Kevin Powell? What do you mean? He is the CSS, like, he, he's like the father of CSS. This guy. Wait, hold on, Rohal, did you change your name? <laughs> or is this someone else? Block solely for that slander. You know what, we'll do we'll do Angular just because it would be interesting to see. And I haven't written Angular in a while. And I hate it, but it'll be fun. I moved to my desk, signed in on my employee account now. Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Soli, if you want to learn CSS in the best way, in the funnest way, funnest is not a word, the most fun way, go take a look at Kevin Powell. Dude is awesome. Everything he ever has made is just great. He simplifies anything CSS, and he's just, he's, he's magic with it. It's very magic with the CSS. Love this guy. Why am I not subscribed to him? Now we are. <laughs> all right. Um, do you guys want to see? Do you guys want this repo at all? If so, I can upload it. You know, I could drop a link in Discord or something. I mean, it's a cool app. If you guys want to extend on it and make it your own, maybe change some of these colors up. Yeah, he does actually have his own courses now. It's not just YouTube content. So, check him out. He was crucial in some of my CSS understanding. Why would anyone change the colors? Gee, I have no clue why. I really don't. <laughs> I have no clue. Just add it to GitHub, memories. All right, you bet. Let's go do that. Let's go Treehouse. You can also try Angular JavaScript.js after, just to show how hard it was to write the same code in the version of the framework. Yeah, we could. What's up, first time chatter? <laughs> Hello, oh, wait, Dustin, stop yelling at me. Look at the color scheme. It is like being at a rave. <laughs> Make sure it is very, very, very clear about the color. Oh, I will. I'm gonna put a big old readme that says the, <laughs> the colors were randomly generated by the community. It wasn't us. <laughs> it wasn't me. That's why I'm uploading this to the Treehouse uh, GitHub, not mine. <laughs> But yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see if you guys do want to like actually make it look very nice on your own. Maybe add in some more features or whatnot. Maybe just update CSS. It'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to go ahead and upload this to GitHub and I'll drop the link in Discord. So uh, you, guys, you guys can take a look at that. I'll find a more impressive color for next time. Yeah, every week... Like, like, don't try to give me the worst colors. Like, if you guys actually give me some really, like, aesthetic colors that look really nice, I'm curious to see if we can ever build something that just looks great. Like, give me some some really cool colors. Yeah, I think we should make this a series. Let ChatGPT build us something. I apply all the code. You guys give me the random colors, and we just we hook it all up. And then at the end of the month, we take a look at everything we built each week, and we, we all we choose the best one. And the best one will actually go and host it, so anyone can take a look. That'd be really cool. It didn't match my teal. What do you mean? That's not the teal that you uh, you gave us? Rohald? That'll never happen once Brandon's around. I don't know. There is a way to make this green look good. 
if we gave the right other colors. You know what I mean? It might not look the best, <laughs> but you know. And we could even do dark modes too. Maybe maybe we could do like I can get you guys to give me a color palette for the light mode and then a separate one for dark mode. That'd be kind of cool, right? Solely bully. <laughs> Rohald, it didn't match your teal though. That's not the that's not the teal that you gave me. Gotta bounce. Have a great day. You have a great day. I'll have a great day if you have a great day. Thanks for coming. Stop by. Y'all, I just realized Link is curled up next to me. He's been here the whole time. I didn't even realize this. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom into him. Not me. There he is. Look at him. Just sleeping. What a slacker. Oh, it didn't match the green. Yeah, no. It's going to be really hard to match colors when you're all giving me random ones. Can you imagine if we got like... 20 people watching the stream and they all give us a color palette that would be insane that'd be crazy that'd be crazy but fun i would really enjoy that that'd be cool yeah we need to do a fundraiser for his desk bed <laughs> he'll typically like sleep in my living room and just watch me but the weather's kind of bad today so he's usually glued to me when the weather's bad he doesn't doesn't like loud noises. The second you move, it's chaos. Yeah, no, same. I used to have dogs, same thing. But Link is kind of the same way. Like if I got up and went to the other side of the house, he'll be in a deep sleep. He will wake up and follow me. He's like, you know what? I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> Can't imagine stream without him nearby. Yeah, me neither. My boy. Sweet boy. Sweet, sweet boy. All right, guys. That's going to be it for today. Quick stream. A little over an hour. But this is fun. I'd like to, like I said, I'd like to make this a, uh, a series. We could do this once a week. Especially since it's been hard to kind of figure out what we're going to build. <laughs> and I think this will be a fun series for people to follow along with that aren't on the stream. So we'll keep it up. You guys get some colors ready every week. <laughs> but um, I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, next week. I'm pretty sure I'm back. And if you guys are free throughout random days of the week, I am going to start streaming random days too, as well as the Thursdays, um, just so that we can get the affiliate finally. I, I've been wanting to do it, but I've been out for the last month. So we'll, we'll, get, that, we'll get that going though. Probably next week I'll stream uh, maybe Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday too. So be on the lookout for that. But I'll see you guys next week. Peace.